Hey, Donna Lewis here with Breathe Life Ministries and your Ezekiel study guide. Let's dive into this. I've created a study guide for you. And let's just go ahead and open that up. And just want to make sure that it's sharing with you. Yes, it is. Yay. That makes me happy. And I am going to go ahead and do this in present mode. All right. So I titled this study guide, How is Your Vision? And we're going to be looking again uh, and processing Ezekiel chapter one. The heavens were opened and I saw visions of God. Take a moment now, pause this video, and read Ezekiel chapter 1, verses 4 through 28. As you do, notice the great detail that he goes into. Ezekiel has an incredible eye for detail. And it's what sets him apart as a prophet of God. It makes him unique among the other prophets of the Old Testament. No one else is known to have gone into the tremendous detail of what they saw and experienced before the throne of God, like Ezekiel did. So go ahead and pause this video and read Ezekiel 1, verses 4 through 28. Okay. Now, after reading his experience, describe a time in your life that you had a profound encounter with God. As you remember this, log it in your journal. And just like Ezekiel, try to include as many details as possible feelings, sensations, sounds, sights, maybe even smells. And how did this encounter transform your life? At the time that Ezekiel received this vision from God, he'd been in exile along the Kabar River, River in Babylon as a captive of King Nebuchadnezzar for five years. It has been presumed by scholars that during this five-year period, God was silent. He spoke nothing. Have you ever been in a time of isolation and silence from God? Maybe you're going through that right now. Describe this, this experience in your journal. How are you feeling? What thoughts are going through your mind? What are you remembering? What are you learning? How might it be expanding your vision? Oswald Chambers wrote of Ezekiel's experience this way. God used Ezekiel's bereavement not to develop him, but that he might represent his purposes to the people. 
That is a lot to bite off and chew. So I'm going to give you a minute to just think about that statement. God used Ezekiel's bereavement not to develop him, but that he might represent his purposes to the people. How does this shift your focus when you're going through sorrow? Maybe you are right in the midst of deep sorrow and loss right now. How does sorrow and that experience of aloneness that comes with it become an opportunity for God's glory. And what can we do to become a willing participant in the glory of God, even in the midst of deep sorrow? Ezekiel is a book unlike any other. Take time to process this study guide, and I will see you back here tomorrow as we dive in deeper with the book of Ezekiel. God bless. I'm Donna Lewis with Breathe Life Ministries. Go ahead and like this video, share this video, and invite others into this study experience. God bless. See you tomorrow.